Hello, 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 what's going on people, it's your boy AKB5 here, um, got a lot to talk about, so let me just get right to this, okay, so we have the comparison, um, I'm going to do a quick little comparison between the two, and then I'm also going to tell you the pros and cons of upgrading, and kind of my thought process, okay, why I upgraded to uh, Xbox Slim, okay, first with the comparison, um, as you can see, uh, let me see if I can get a little lower, okay, there we go, that is the only difference it's a little shorter um the width excuse me the length width whatever you want to call it depending on how you look at it is pretty much the same not much of a difference um the thickness is a little thinner it's a little like this one is a little thinner than that so you de you, you definitely kind of you know edge off a little bit so it's kind of just shavings around um is the difference okay the difference another thing with the old one versus the slim and turn this around and the difference between those two are okay notice let me, let me see if i can get this over here so i can get the, the light in here all right so difference is um this has just the uh composite component connection this one has the hdmi with a composite component okay here you have the Ethernet, you have Ethernet, here you have a USB back here, here you have three USBs back here now, okay? Um, now, the other difference is, this is the, this auxiliary is for the new Connect system, you know, the motion control or whatever you want to call that. Here's now, excuse me, here's now where the, uh, where the um, optical cable is, and you still have the power, although they're different. Um, but the power brick is smaller for the uh, Xbox Slim, okay, as I showed you in the unboxing. If you didn't uh, see that, go ahead and take a look at that. You can see, you can see um, how small it is, okay. Now, um, the other difference was, that now I had another Xbox, okay, and what I did was I traded that one because I had two of these old Xboxes, and they were both premiums. Actually, one was a core, and then I got it, I got it fixed, and it was, uh, they sent back a premium, so... Same thing, it doesn't even really matter. The uh, only difference was, you know, the premium came with a couple of few accessories. That was the only difference. But anyway, getting back to the point, um, I had wireless here, so I had the adapter that fit here, and I traded that in in the deal as well. But now this has built-in, so that was kind of a wash. Um, I had a 20 gig, 20 gig by hard drive that I traded in, and now I have a 250, okay? So what did I gain and why did I do it? Well, I traded in for the HDMI connection because I really wanted HDMI. I don't know if you guys remember when I did the video, I had to go out and get an Elite that had an HDMI. So um, so I've always wanted HDMI for both, so it was easier to connect, okay? Um, the other thing was um, I, I upgraded from a, a, a 20 to a 250, okay? So I upgraded to a 250. Um, the other thing was um, that I benefited by was this one's more quiet. Okay, this, let me tell you people, that's the one selling point that I would say about these Slims is they're a lot quieter. A little bit, they're, to me, they're quieter than the PS3. Now, some people seem to think the PS3 is loud, but I guess maybe I was just used to the old Xbox that much and where, because the Xbox, is nothing louder than the Xbox. Okay, um, so that was the benefit for me. So, a new higher uh, hard drive was quieter hdmi i was sold okay um everything else was kind of gravy a little connect i don't really care because i don't even know if i'm gonna get it okay so that's with the comparison that was the comparison plus that was my reason for upgrading now i would not have upgraded if i had an elite and i'll tell you why because one, the very thing that was important to me was the HDMI. Now this, of course, doesn't have it, but it would have had the same setup for the Elite. Okay, another thing with the Elite is I wouldn't have traded because the Elite comes with the 120 gigabyte hard drive. I happen to get that second hand, that's why I have it. Because I really had two, 40, two, two, two 20s hard drives and I sold one. And you know, I, I finagled it to where I got this. Let's put it like that. But the Elite, has a big enough hard drive it either has the 120 or the 160 i don't personally use that much storage in my xbox so storage wasn't a big issue for me so again if i'd have had an elite 
I would have been perfectly fine with my storage capabilities. And then on top of it, you know, you can use external devices up to 32 gigabytes, I guess, if you have, um, depending on how many devices or some, some little weird little thing. I haven't figured it out yet. Um, but storage for me wouldn't have been a problem with an Elite. Another thing with the Elite, why I wouldn't have done it is because there's a cost. There's a cost difference. You're gonna have to, you know, you're gonna have to pay to upgrade. And the only thing that you, I would, the way I saw it was, the only thing I would have got was a few more, you know, maybe 50 or you know 70 gigabytes more hard drive space, which I didn't care about. Um, the fact that it runs quieter and cooler. You know, I could have lived with the loudness because, to be to be honest with you, the thing one, the it play, they both play games the same way, so there's no like there's no special feeling of having a slim over, um, you know, an elite. So there's no special like this amazing feeling or nothing like that. Or at least I haven't felt it yet. But you know, so I didn't really feel that the money was there worth it for that, and then. Um, that's about it, really. <clears throat> so I probably would have kept my elite. Now, for some of you out there, you know, you just want to ball out of control. You want to show your boys, or your girls, whatever it is. Hey, I got the new Slim. Hey, and then you can you can justify the differences between um, the Slim and the Elite. Hey, have at it. You know, have at it. Um, but I'm just I was just giving you my logic on. <clears throat> excuse me, throat's still killing me here. Um, but you know, it's getting a little better. But um. You know, if if you want to justify your logic on why you should upgrade, hey, that's you know that's your business. But I just wanted to share with you, um, you know, what I was thinking. So if I'd had to delete, we wouldn't even be talking about this right now. Somebody else would be doing this video. Um, but anyway, it's your boy B Five here. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in there. I'm trying to answer people on the unboxing. So um, if you have any questions, you know, or you're thinking about getting it, you know, holler at me. Let me know. See if I can maybe ask uh, answer a question that maybe I didn't answer in, in any, either one of these videos if you didn't if you didn't there's some something else that I didn't say talk about in this video I'll look the unbox and I might have said it there anyway yeah oh yeah 